Hershey Park, Dorney Park, Disneyland, and Six Flags. What do these four have in common? They're all extremely boring. Which is why today, in Planet Coaster, we'll be building a theme park that's actually fun. Chalk full of enticing scenery, affordable prices, and enough debt to make even an American college student cry. Now, Planet Coaster begins like most games that I consider very good, with a Walmart version of Frosty the Snowman attempting to commit aggravated assault. The first thing we need to do is to make an avatar. And if we go over here, I already have one affectionately named uh, Susan, but it kind of feels like she's missing something. Something that really says, I'm a CEO that can relate to you. Now with Susan placed at our HQ uh, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, that means we can go ahead and create our first park. Now we can choose for a bunch of different biomes, and uh, of course I'm going to choose the one with the most people. And the game even gives us a preview of the beautiful and lovely sounds of the city. So now we're greeted with the beautiful landscape of nothingness. And this is pretty much where we're going to be building our entire amusement park. In the distance is the beautiful city, and we get to see our very first customers coming through, and getting here and realizing, wow, there's absolutely nothing. I don't know what kind of parents would take their child to the still under construction amusement park, but that's just the kind of people we want here. So the first thing we want is a whole bunch of paths, as you can see, as people can only walk on the path. In the middle of the park, we'll put our first staff building so we can actually start hiring people to do things. And then we can start looking through the whole list of rides. All the different rides in the game have different stats in terms of their excitement, their fear, and their nausea, and you don't want any of those to be too high or too low. So naturally, I'm going to choose the thing with the, the most fear possible, or at least it will be, until I start making my own. The basic rides we get right Right here aren't the only ones. These are pretty much the only we can afford because in the bottom right you can see we we don't really have a lot of money. Now usually before you open rides you uh, you want to test it, make sure that nobody gets their arm chopped off. I don't care. And now that this ride is open, people should begin flooding from the tunnel that looks like oh my oh jeez. Now that we've opened our first ride, you can see that people are gonna start walking in. Uh, this this old lady over here who will probably have a heart attack. Remember guys, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always sign your name on my waiver. As it stands, we are charging people $7 to ride this thing, which is a complete scam, which is why we're going to uh, double scam people and make it $14. I'm also going to go ahead and add another ride because we do need to make even more money. And now we have our newest ride, the Hyper Jump, a $5 ticket price. Are you insane? $10 minimum. So now that people are flooding into the park, you can see our money is slowly going up and we are going to need enough money to actually start building our roller coasters all along the rest of the distance here. We're also going to need some staff so we can hire uh, vendors to run shops, security people to enforce our brutal regime, and mechanics as well as janitors. All right, now we've placed a third ride and the money is starting to roll in, but this is where we also get to use our special move and take out predatory loans. And by predatory, I mean way too cheap. 5% interest is a joke, 3% interest is a joke, and well, other 3% interest is a joke. So obviously, I'm just going to take out as many loans as I possibly Possibly can. The implication of interest doesn't actually matter if I can make more than 5% return on the loans. AE, I'm just going to keep stealing from the bank. Alright, so with all the loan money, we can pretty much propel ourselves straight into getting one of the basic coasters, and we'll just throw it over here. And as much as that is putting me into crippling debt, ah, it doesn't matter that much. Unfortunately, with roller coasters, you do have to test them in order to open them. So we get to watch as the roller coaster goes up, and then, like, you know, most objects that go up, it also goes down. Woo, that, uh, awesome. And now that the first test run is completed, we could just go ahead and open it and charge people how much? Uh, $8.99, oh my god. This is at least a $20 ride. Something that actually matters a lot with rides is the queue scenery waiting. So when people are waiting in queue, they want to look at nice things. And as you can see, people are already running on, thanks to my, uh, beautiful decorations. Okay, all in all, it seems like our park is actually doing pretty well. Our money is going up very quickly. We are charging absolutely ludicrous prices for everything, and people are somehow still coming. But this park is not nearly as efficient as it could be, especially as it pertains to extracting every last dollar from each of these juicy morsels. I mean, living human beings, for now. On our park management, we can see what some of the needs of our guests are. They have hunger, thirst, uh, toilet. Naturally, we fix the problem by adding some toilets uh, with some cosmetics a convenient distance away. Ah, uh, and it looks like the first pay pig I mean, uh, humans have decided to take the journey all the ways up to the 
top. I can actually go to the first person cam in order to watch real time as they go up to the toilets. Man, isn't this exciting? This feels like something I'd see in a live police chase stream. Finally, they've made it all the way to the top. Salvation is only right here. And they have decided to turn around. Come on, guys. Why'd you turn around? The price was only $20 to use the toilet per person. Okay, now they're just creating a stair pile up. It's nice to see that the only complaints people have is, uh, I wish this park had a drink shop. Alternatively, ew, I stepped in sick. We could also use the money we're making in order to start researching more rides. And of course, by rides, I mean gift shops. Something we are lacking, though, is a lot of the different scenery is not particularly good. So we have 35% Q CD grading, we have 7%, we have probably pretty low on the other one as well. Which means we have to add some special attractions in order to make people happier in line. Well, that was easy. Now, our park is looking pretty good. I, th I think we're exploiting people by forcing them to pay uh, $14 to ride. Funnily enough, it is free to get into the park, uh, or at least it was. Unfortunately, it seems like we've alienated a couple of our customers, and I know exactly why. Not to worry, citizens. I've solved the problem. Guests think items at the standard restroom block are too expensive. Why are these people going all the ways up here anyways? We've also gotten some complaints of people getting hurt, which is... I mean, well, yeah, there's... There's one. Lots of beautiful puke stains all over, and somebody even destroyed a table. How did they even do this? Now, of course, this kind of vandalized property could hurt someone, so I've decided to open a first aid office at only a moderate fee. Not to worry, though. I've, uh, I've provided the correct accommodations. I like how going into the average spending graph, you can see that the average amount of money spent is $20, $25, and $24. That is literally just one ride if we consider the fact that it costs $10 to even enter the park. The main thing we're missing right now is drinks, so we'll throw some right there, and also a chief beef store, because that's the best thing you want when you get off of a roller coaster. Don't worry, guys, our prices are quite affordable. So we've just researched the beautiful thing known as merchandise and gift shops, which gives me a pretty beautiful idea that relates to our good friend the clown. So to improve profits, I have walled in the entire park. And by moving the exits of our rides to the back, now people are going to come out of them on this side. That means they need to walk something like three miles to get around the entire park in order to leave. But as a fair businessman, I have given them a way out. All they need to do is go on the carousel. It's pretty simple, right? Right? It does seem like people have gotten bored of some of our attractions, especially the ones that lead into the pit of hell, so we do need to make them a little more interesting. Now this is what I would consider a more interesting and hospitable environment for our people, which has brought the scenery rating from 50 to 100. Ah yes, now we get to see the mass exodus of people. Now if that isn't a poetic sight, I don't know what is. Someone in the front who very clearly is either getting heat stroke, uh, is very confused or yep yep they gotta go to the bathroom i'm just saying there's always a solution well some people might find the bathroom a little too expensive i think they'll uh reconsider but well, looks like this lady has made it past the ring of fire but i don't think she's quite out of it yet oh there we go our first victims there's like a ten dollar fee from extracting from that atm ah but it seems like what they couldn't resist would be placing a random ride in the middle of nowhere that some people are actually going on and getting it sorted by okay by some absolute miracle it seems like this has become the most popular attraction my staff are also continuously unhappy and quitting uh, however, I have figured out a solution. Because hiring staff costs almost nothing, I basically just wait for them to quit and then hire like 10 new people. But you see, the real trick is as soon as you hire someone, you just go in and uh, immediately reduce their salary to like half of what it was before. And then when they quit because they're not making enough money, you just hire someone else. Okay, well, maybe my greed is starting to get the better of me because half of our rides have started to break down and I don't really have the money to hire more staff. Oh wait, I take that back. They're actually completely free. So let's just hire like six mechanics and go fix it. And then I'm gonna fire you. Oh my god, it's the first person. This is the only one who has successfully made it through the entire maze. And yeah, she's 
She's not that happy. Multiple staff members have quit. Yeah, I can, I can see why. Monthly profits are not looking so hot. Okay, you know what I just realized that I hadn't realized before? Uh, and it was that every time we placed one of those kiosks, it hired a new staff member. And all of them are making vastly more money than they should. Ergo, we are just going to fire practically all of them. To be fair, it is a lot cheaper to just fire them and then rehire new people with more energy than it is to actually do anything with them. Okay, I'm I'm also gonna need to fix this ride temporarily and make it so it doesn't send people off into the gray goo void. And that's not even considering the fact that this ride has been broken down for the better part of a month and these people have just been stuck here. Look at how excited all of them are despite the fact that they have been trapped in this essentially penal colony for quite some time. Oh my god, like a savior from above. It looks like the bank has just come in clutch and we've actually paid off our loans, which is great because now we can just go and take another $10,000 loan out, which means maybe, just maybe, we can actually fix the park with this money. Jesus Christ, we've only had one janitor this entire time. Horacio Eden. Well, you, um, you've got your work cut out for you. Oh my God, we've done it. The masses are back. And all it took was me not putting them in a death trap. I think we're gonna have to get a little more creative with how we do this, and I have just the plan. Unfortunately, we do need a crap load of money to do it, so we need to- Oh, we're actually making money. That is surprising. A thief has been caught resolving four crimes. This is like some guy in his late 30s or early 40s coming into an amusement park to steal from children. He is my spirit animal. Okay, well, thanks to the altruistic power of banking, we're actually not losing that much money, and I think we could turn the park around and- and create our own custom roller coaster. I think the greatest surprise of all in this theme park is that it has not burned down yet, despite the fact that I have fireworks shooting into the crowd at all times. Wait a minute, I just realized this thing is costing me $6 per every trigger. Jesus Christ, no wonder I've been losing so much money. I'm losing $720 every day on fireworks alone. Okay, so first things first, to finance the construction of the most dangerous roller coaster possible, we need to make an insane amount of money. So we're just going to fill this entire side with shops and basic rides. Okay, and as soon as I built one ride, I immediately sent us into debt. Sorry, force of habit. Okay, so we put down the coasters and now we just have to add the scenery. And uh, I think you guys know what kind of scenery I like. Oh yeah, nothing sets the mood for the carousel like nuclear winter. Jesus Christ, a thief has been caught resolving 23 crimes? This random lady is all dejected like, oh darn, I've been caught stealing 23 wallets. I mean, honestly, can we hire you? I, I think that would be a net profitable venture. Whoa, 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 Horacio quit? No, 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 he's he's the only person we're keeping on. Although we probably do need to hire more janitors because Horacio's main complaint is that the whole park smells like Philadelphia, which is like an air freshener of piss. Okay, at this point, I'm just mass producing rides. I think we already have duplicates of all of these, but I'm just throwing as many of them down as is physically possible regardless of safety. I mean, if we can manage to have explosions and epilepsy as well as fireworks going on as we are on a ride that is spinning around in circles, I think we could do pretty much anything in the eyes of the law at this point. And now that our income is reaching a relatively stable amount, we're already at $8,000 and the profits are going up and up and up, it's time to build the mega coaster. So the first thing is that we get to build the base and we're gonna build that all the ways out here probably at the very edge of the park. Okay, that looks like uh, something that someone on LSD might be able to navigate. Well, let's face it, what doesn't look bad here? So now we get to edit the track. And that allows us to get all the ways up as much as we can, increase that verticality as much as possible, and try and build this thing all the ways up. And when I say all the ways up, I mean all the ways up. As a matter of fact, it cannot physically go any higher than this. Okay, I do need to wait a little bit now because I have bankrupted myself building something. Fortunately, we are disgustingly rich and good friends with all of the banks to bail us out apparently, so we could just keep going down. Great, okay, so after laying off a couple of people and reducing the wages of our already non-existent workers' wages, we can now hopefully finish this ride once and for all. All right, now we can start a test for the ride and get on the camera to see it in real time. Oh, baby, I'm I'm excited. Are you guys? This is... 
This is thrilling. Of course, the first thing that happens, like any roller coaster, is that we're gonna get propelled up to the top eventually. So how are you doing? Uh, you, you person who's watching, um, how, how, how's your life? The weather's good, uh, hopefully, uh, like your life. I'm not a very good conversationalist. I think it was April when I started going up this thing, and now it's probably May. Still waiting. Man, is this what it feels like on an actual roller coaster? The ones that are really, really, really tall, you just sit on there for like eight years and then eventually it maybe drops. You know, when me and my editor go back and edit the video, I'm going to force people to suffer with me on this and watch almost the entire thing, just as I am intently leaning forward in my chair and waiting for me to get to the top. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. It should immediately propel me now into the sun or something like that. Three, two, one. Eh? This is it? This is the right? No, don't stop. Don't stop. I'm, I'm unhappy. All right, attempt two. Give it up for attempt two. Am I gonna make people suffer through this when we're going through the video again for the second time? It's a strong consideration. I'm looking at the live test results for the data and it's just general not excited for the entire ride. Although somehow people are feeling a little nauseous. Okay, please work this time. The, the, the barrier for you to work is so low. You just need to move a little bit. It's just building up to something good, guys. Trust me, it's, you know, it, it, it's gonna get good, definitely. I don't actually know what this next segment does. I don't, I don't quite remember. Oh, okay. Now we're moving. That's an improvement. Oh my God. This, this does not seem safe even in the remotest vicinity. Oh yeah, I didn't finish the track. At least nobody was harmed. I, uh, mostly. Okay, well, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit of a fixer-upper. It's not, it's not perfect. Nobody said it was gonna be. Where I started, I don't know how long I've been doing this for. So at this point, the park is basically done. I've decided to just add a couple of very minor enhancements. I noticed we didn't have a mascot, so I decided to give the park one. There was also no music anywhere, so I decided to add a couple of speakers, uh, really pumping up the jams. And last but not least, I decided to spend the last 30 minutes of my time submerging the entire park in rocks. And all of that compounded by the fact that we finally, finally finished the absolutely worst roller coaster in the history of history. So the next time you venture into a theme park, just remember, have a good time, bring your friends, and most importantly, I'm out there.